Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to add a value to pick list field or you can say how to add a new value or a custom value to a pick list field. And we are going to learn this concept for both Salesforce Lightning as well as a classic experience. So let's proceed and learn this concept with Salesforce Lightning first. Here I open up my account in Salesforce Lightning and, and by default I am on a home page. So now I click on the gear icon on the top and click on the setup for moving to the main home page setup. After that, you have to click on the object manager option that is located on the top navigation bar. Next, you have to search for the object on which you want to add a field to a pick list value. For example, in this case, I want to choose up the lead as an object. So I search for the lead in a quick find bar and when I get it in a result, I click on it. Now it's open up the object manager for the lead. Now I click on the field and relationship option that is given on the left side and then I get the all the fields that are available in lead object, both custom and the standard one. So this time we have to choose up the field in which you want to add a new or a custom pick list values. So here I need up to add a custom fields value to the lead source. This is a pick list type field that I have already in the Salesforce and this is a standard one. So here I simply click on this lead source and it open up the page of the lead source. Now you are on the lead fields page. Now scroll down and click on the new button that is given on the account lead source pick list section. Now it shows you a box. Here you have to enter up the pick list value to whom you want to add this lead source field. So uh, the procedure of adding up the value is that you have to enter up the values and every new value must be in a new line. Okay. So I have noted some of the values in my notepad. I copy it and edit it. So uh, you can see that I added every new value in the next line without any comma. Okay. So here it write as if a value matches an inactive value label name, but not the API name, a new value is created. If the value matches inactive value name, that value is reactivated with its uh, previous label. Okay. So now simply click on the save. And uh, scroll down again to this section and here you can see that it successfully enter up the new custom values in a pick list of a lead source field in a lead object. And we done this process in a Salesforce like thing. So now we will proceed to the Salesforce classic and learn to add new fields in it. So for this I click on a profile option and uh, here I click on the switch to a Salesforce classic option to redirecting from the lightning to the classic one. Now I have click on the setup option that is given on the top. And after that, I scroll down and move to the build section. And here I have a customized drop down. I click on it. And from this, I uh, choose up the object in which I want to add up the new value in the pick list field. So this time I decided to work up with the context. So here I click on the context and uh, under it I have a fields option. So I click on that one. In the previous case, in the Salesforce Lightning one, I told you how to add up a new values in a pick list field uh, on the fields that is uh, already created or pre-built with the Salesforce or you can say a standard field. Now let's learn how to add in a custom field. Okay, so I scroll down and here I have a contact and custom field and relationship section and under it I have one pick list uh, field with the name of a level. So I click on it or either you can click on this edit option. So I click and it edit up the level field. Now I scroll down. Now click on this level field. Never try to click on this edit option. It will edit up the field but not give you the option to editing up the uh, adding up the pick list values. So for this you have to click on this level. And when you click on it, it gives you a section like that. Okay. Now scroll down. Here we have a value section and it has a one button of, of named as a name. Click on it. The simple procedure that you find in a Salesforce Lightning also works on classic one. So here I copy pasted some of the values from my notepad that I have already noted down and simply paste here. So I remind you that Every new value 
tell you start up with the new field without any comma okay and after adding up my values i click on a save button so on a successful save when i go to the value section again you can see that it successfully it successfully entered up some new values in a pick list field in salesforce classic also so with this we have learned so with this you have learned how to add a new values or a custom values in a pick list field in salesforce lightning as well as a classic so if you like this video click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one thanking you for watching and have a great